Okay, I think it's recording. Hello everyone, my name is Kushag Singh and I am working as a data analyst trainee in Trinity. So today I'm going to give you an overview of my IMDB project which I have worked on. So for this one here I have used the IMDB dataset which is visible on the screen right now. For this task, I have defined the problem on which I wanted to shed light on. And uh, if you see here, there are various columns uh, which are usually available with the IMDB team uh, for the analysis. Okay. So I did this uh, basically. I did this by asking what, and uh, that is what is the exact cause of the problem. Okay. For uh, example, do I uh, what do I see happening? What is my hypothesis for the cause of the problem? What is the impact of the problem on the stakeholders? What is the impact of the problem if not being solved? Yeah, this is a very important question. What happens? What is the impact of the problem if it is not solved on the organization? We often ignore this question. Yeah, but this is an important one. So like this, I approached to the problem and while i answered this question it actually helped me define what i was trying to solve and allowed me to find the right data so to solve it so once this was solved next step was uh, i cleaned the data as per the requirement and used the data analytics skill to explore the data set and derive the insights so for this one i have used the advanced excel and uh, statistical concepts and found out the movies which have the highest profit and uh, top movies as per the imdb rating we have a separate imdb column for this one and uh, uh, which are the top directors basically top, what are the most popular gen genres and uh, top foreign language films and more okay so now the first step before analyzing anything the most important step is cleaning the data okay so for this one this is the raw data set which i am showing it to you right now and uh, on this one i have uh, performed three cleaning work that is i have dropped the columns which are for no use for my analysis for example if we see here here we have a color column and in column color column most of it is written as color it means it's a color film most of the films are usually colored and uh, i think we should have a black and white also yeah okay so we have one black and white film also so yeah so this column is not used in my analysis and there are several more columns also which i have dropped secondly i have dropped the rows which are blank or have the null values for example if you see here this is a blank value and if you move forward there are other various uh, budget columns are also null which are important for my analysis for so i have dropped these kind of rows and there are some of the duplicate entries also so i have removed all those duplicate entries which are present in the data set okay so after cleaning everything the data basically will uh, okay i think uh, click is not working let me quickly move my image from one place to another okay is it not covering what is this yeah sorry for this one yeah okay okay cool okay i'm using this loom software first time i think it overlaps with the options okay so here is a look of the clean data really clean right looks good yeah so these are the columns which we which are used for the analysis all of these columns i have used for the analysis to answer one question or the other okay so these columns don't contain any of the missing fields or uh, any raw data or null values or anything okay now let's come to the first question the first question which is always asked by any of the company which movie had the highest profit okay so now first let's have a look at the profit uh, table here now this is a profit table which i have created and uh, profit is basically a difference of uh, gross and budget okay whatever is left that's the profit and we have avatar as the first movie with the highest profit no doubt it's one of the best movies and uh, yeah now we have avatar 2 also i have not seen it but yeah uh, quite high expectations so yeah uh, avatar has the highest profit and similarly the profit goes down 
and uh, similarly i have created a loss table also what are the losses so yeah definitely some movies are making profit so there will be movies which had made loss also and uh, yeah if you see the numbers these are actually really high profits so there in the loss table uh, there were actually some outlier also which were out of this value so graph was very constrained due to the outlier so i have removed the values about this and these are considerable values so uh, this is kind of a graph which we can observe here now uh, one thing which is an interesting part which i found out okay uh, if i set the filter here what we can do okay let's set the ascending i think okay yeah so for the profit what i have plotted the graph is from basically zero and above and for loss i have uh, plotted the graph zero and below okay now if you look at the profit table here there is one movie named as happiness that has basically zero profit that is a no profit no loss now this is an interesting part of analysis because usually you don't find these kind of movies which made no profit or no loss i have not seen it but yeah i think i will give it a try someday uh what exactly in this one okay so this was it so happiness is on zero profit zero loss the, then if we change it to descending we can find avatar has the highest profit and uh, now we have uh, okay I, this is poise don i think this is the name okay maybe some name in some different language maybe so poise don is the movie which has the uh greater loss okay uh greatest loss and yeah so now the next question which i have answered is uh, what are the top 250s imdb movies so if i move here these is the basic uh, this is the basic table which i have created which has a movie title number of voted users imdb score and rank okay for uh, number of voted users i have uh, chosen a value above 25000 yeah so if votes are below 25000 uh, there's no bigger meaning of considering them uh, at least a minimum number of users should be there so that uh, we know okay the review is authentic so that's why i've used uh, used 20, above 25000 the number of users if i have put it okay and i have provided a rank column also which makes it really easier to see okay which movies are ranked from 1 to 250 i have moved it to 250 okay so if you see here on 250 uh, we have 7.9 imdb rating and uh, uh, the movie name is the world fastest indian okay i am from india but definitely i have not seen this movie okay yeah uh, and on the first one the first rank is of the shawshank redemption this is the first ranked imdb score movie second is the godfather oh i always used to think the godfather is the first movie i think many of you would think the same but the shawshank redemption is the first with imdb score of 9.3 not much difference but yeah it's a difference 9.3 and ranked one yeah definitely i'm going to watch this movie whenever i get time okay yeah so this is it and uh, also i've created one more analysis because uh, uh, most of the movies uh, are created in hollywood and they are in english dialect so i've created one more list of uh, ranking that is 1 to 250 and uh, i have excluded the language english so these are all the movies which are in different language other than the english so here the first movie is uh, from italian language it means it is a italian movie with a imdb score of 8.9 not bad it i i don't know italian so i cannot see it okay maybe in dubbing the good and the bad ugly uh, this is the movie and it's it is ranked as one other than the english number of voted users are uh, quite high so i believe this is a authentic ranking and this we can consider it okay so uh, these are couple of questions which i have answered now one of the interesting questions which we have next is finding the top 10 direct directors and that to i found out with the imdb ratings okay so for this one uh, i have taken a approach uh, for example i have grouped the column basically using the director name column so these are the top 10 directors and okay here you can see uh, this is the name of all the directors okay and uh, basically this is grouped 
with all the movies they have i have taken a mean score of the imdb rating for all the particular directors okay so then i have chosen the top 10 from it and i have graphed graphed it here now if you see here the top two directors which have a tie of imdb rating are charles chaplin and tony k no doubt they are one of the really good directors uh tony k i have not aware very much but yeah charles chaplin i know yeah he is a good director movies are also really good and uh, in case of a tie as we can see here 8.5 8.5 and 8.6 is a tie so in case of a tie what i have done is i have graphed it alphabetically from bottom to up approach i have observed here so you can see c and t are there then here also in four director there is a tie in the imdb mean score so i have graphed it from a d m and r this is how i have basically graphed it okay so these are the top 10 list of directors according to the mean imdb score you can also call it average imdb score which i have used here okay then uh, second one is the top 10 general of the movies now here the general column were actually a mix of comedy drama romance comedy and drama drama so here also i have used the same approach which i have used for calculating the directors so generally i have uh, basically created a table and counted all the movies which are in that genre and as we can see in the graph let's see let's see the graph instead of a table graph is much more easier to understand and uh, obviously much more easier to remember also and uh, now if you see here we have a drama category which has the highest number of genre although there is uh, not much difference between the next one that is comedy drama and romance that is 149 so 150 to 149 we don't have much difference and then we have comedy and drama so we can see that uh, mostly the movies which have the highest uh, category and fourth is also comedy so comedy and drama are one of the most light categories people watch it yeah comedy who can say no to comedy always up for it yeah so these are one of the categories drama is the first i believe comedy is the second as we can see through the data and then comes the romance yeah yeah romance is also one of the uh, most liked categories okay uh okay so this is what it looks like for the genre now after this uh the fifth problem which i have answered is finding the critic and the favorite audience factor okay so here if i look the first table okay so we are answering here the uh, critic favorite and the audience favorite actors okay so here i have used three actors that is uh, streep leo and brad pitt yeah these are phenomenal actors no doubt these are one of the best actors we have in the industries and these are all the movies that they have acted in okay i have uh, created a table with actor name number of critic number of reviews and uh, the number of voted users then what are the movie titles and the title year then i have separated them according to uh, their names okay now here i have created a combined list later which i will be using so if i see the combined list here uh, we have uh, okay uh, first uh, Streep, then uh, Leonardo, then Brad Pitt. Yeah, so this is the list. Okay, now I have used this table further. Basically, let me go further. Okay, yeah. So if I come here further, here I have taken a mean score of the number of users for reviews. Okay, then a sum of users for the reviews and the count of user for the reviews. Then I have created a grand total of it. Okay, and. Uh, similar i have done this for other one also okay row labels are present here now after doing this i have created a graph here for number of reviews for the mean of number of reviews and uh, now if you see here okay now if you see here number of reviews you can find leonardo the caprio is one of the uh, Uh, one of the best actors which we have in the industry i'm not saying others are not good everyone is a good actor 
but uh, he is uh, on according to the data he is one of the best actors we have that is one of the most critic favorite actor and the audience favorite actors too if we see the second graph okay what happened to the second graph yeah it's a bit laggy okay yeah so if you see the second graph also leonardo dicaprio is the uh, favorite one then we have brad pitt then we have street and uh, for this one also if you move here we have leonardo dicaprio brad pitt and street so yeah according to the critics uh, these two are the best actor but if we uh, look for the okay sorry according to the number of users uh, leonardo dicaprio and brad pitt are one of the most uh, best actors which we have yeah definitely most of the audience other than uh, from the west uh, people know leonardo and brad more as compared to the street now if you come to the number of uh, mean of the critic basically so this shows uh, this graph shows the critic favorite and again leonardo is one of the best no doubt then we have brad pitt then we have street yeah now if i move further so here i have created two column using a pivot table and here we have row label and we have number of voted users okay then i have created a title year and defined by decade then the total number of voted users now here i have graphed the total number of voted users in uh, in the year in every year so we can see here in the starting there is almost uh, null then in 1931 1940 so okay 1931 1940 was the time when uh, movie craze was actually going a bit above everyone was going to dance and songs and uh, different movie roles then people started criticizing 1941 again we see a dip here people getting away from the movie but yeah it was never a hold for movies or anything so again it started from 1951 and we can see a rise in 2001 and 2010 there is a big rise in the number of reviews yeah imdb people were using a lot in this time and 2011 2020 again we can see a big drop not sure why exactly what is causing it but yeah this is what the data says okay so this is all the analysis of the imdb movies which we have and uh, we found some of the interesting facts about uh, the highest profitable movie the best uh, directors which we have the best movie which we have as per the ranking so this was all my analysis a basic idea about how it works and uh, you can follow the link provided uh, which i have attached in the project and that you can use to review basically all my data the raw data is available and my analysis is also available with the conclusions which i have carried out from them so that was it i hope you liked it thank you